My guests today have reached their limits in their relationships. Please meet Buddy. His relationship has pushed him to make a big mistake. Buddy, what's going on? I've been with my girl for my fiance for a while and yeah. uh, almost two years and everything was good. And it was all going pretty good and we you know, we had a son. Yeah. And ever since she had the kid, like she she started getting mad over like little bitty things, like even a video game. She'll get mad and I try to like tell her, you know, it's okay, just push it aside and, and she she starts cussing at me and you know, it just starts a big argument, and like we can we can go out to a bar, and she like gets mad because I look at a girl, and she just gets all dramatic. Do but, you flirt with other girls? Not really. I mean, I I look, but every guy looks. Okay. Now, why are you here? Because I cheated on her. Oh. So all this other stuff you've been telling me doesn't matter. You've been cheating on it is why you're here. Yeah, yeah. Forget um, the video games. Why, why have you cheated on her? Like, it was a mistake. But she, like, I was talking to her, one of her friends, and like, she texted me one night. I was out with my friend, my guy yeah. friends, and like, we was bar hopping, riding around, and she was like, "Hey, you, uh, my friends are here. You should stop." To, at this bar, hang out. So we went there, and you know, it, the bar was full, it was packed. Yeah. We went in, we started slamming shots, and I walked outside to smoke a cigarette with her, and like it was cold, so we went to the car and. You took off your clothing. <laughs> uh, if it was cold, why'd you take off your clothing? <laughs> well, she, she started rubbing on my chest, and I saw. I, Put my hand on her leg and we started kissing yeah. and we ended up having sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're here what? Why? Because I want to be the person to tell her that I cheated on her. Do you want to leave her? No. You want it to work out. You feel yeah, bad about this. It's I, not going to happen again. I love my family. Well, she's backstage, so she's seen all this already. Sure. Oh, oh. here's Becca. For? Just why? Because, What's the excuse? Because you've been, because I mean, you've been treating me like I'm a I mean, you. How do like, I treat you like a because I do a lot for you. I go to work every day and I come home. Sometimes I work 24 hour shift and you want me to clean house when I come home from work. You're Who lazy, you're ornery. When you get home, you expect for me to clean up, clean up everything after part. you. You don't pick up anything. I've done my part though. It doesn't matter. When you come home and you, you eat or you, you, anything, you don't pick up your that's not true. Cusses me I, out. That's not true. That is true. No. I, what's that you got in your hand? There? This is a letter that he wrote me. I was in jail. And he used to write me all these. Yeah. He used to write me all these letters and stuff talking about. Do you go me there out. often? No. Yeah. But he used to write me all these letters talking about how he loved me and poems and he wanted me to be his wife. He wanted me to have his child. Well, I had a child and then you, you cheated me with some slut. I mean, so what's it supposed to mean? Is it a bunch of lies? I mean, I mean it, it meant something matter? when I wrote it. It meant something. So it doesn't mean nothing now? So I guess it was still means... Jail, how long were you in jail? I was in jail for 60 days. Yeah. I'm sitting here listening to Slow Rock writing you slow, blank like Creed. I'm glad. So he what's the point so of depressed. this letter? He acted so depressed. He tried to, oh. he tried to say that he was depressed, yeah. crying every day. You were crying. You were so lonely. You I wanted was. me I there, you. but yet, what does it explain? You, th you think it caught up to you? A bunch of lies. Well, yeah, I'm still here. You know, I work. I take here. care of you. Where I buy you everything. I pay. I pay the bills. I buy your minutes. I buy your cigarettes. I, anything that you need. I do without minutes for like three weeks at a time. Sometimes. Do, yep. do you know this other girl? He says he cheated with. Yeah, I know. We used to be friends. Oh. Yeah. Are you surprised she would do something like that? Knowing her as you do? Big surprise, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's Back bring her out. Face. Oh, here's Megan. <laughs> Why? Why, Megan? Because I just don't care anymore. You don't care anymore? So you're going to sleep with my fiance, knowing that we have a child together, and you were there to see my child born? Does that, does not, does that not matter to you? No. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. Get drunk every damn day? No, I go to school. You go to school? You go to school drunk? No. Well, you go to school drunk. Don't call me. I mean, you, you say that all this stuff, okay? Like, all right, I want you to explain to me why. Why? Explain yourself. I was drunk and. Uh, oh, you were drunk? I mean, so that's was, an he excuse. was rubbing on me. He was being. Uh, if she's been your friend and you know they have a child together, wouldn't you just say, hey, whoa, I'm not going there? Um, I mean, I could have, but I didn't. Yeah. Do you uh, do you like him? I mean, no. do you want to be with him? No. Oh. Not at all. Oh, so you don't want you're not interested in being with him, and no, you're not interested not in being with her. All right, what's going to happen here? Uh, Honestly, you're uh, lame. Why would you do that? Are you going to forgive him? Honestly, I don't know how I could forgive him. My son is the only reason that I would forgive him because my son is important and that is his father. But it's going to take a lot for me to forgive you. You better step your not son. You want to be there? Yeah, I want to be with you. You gave me, because you gave me my, my first kid and I love you. You gave me something that no other girl could ever give me. Okay, so and what are you going to do to make things right? It ain't going to clear it out. It ain't going to get lost. And I mean, that thought's going to be there that I know what you did. How are you going to make up for it? I mean, I'll, I can try. That's all I can do. Well, then try is the best, then I guess. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.